Okay. Um, we got two oxygen analyzers on the boiler. One measuring the flue gas, and another one measuring the air coming in the wind box. Which you would ask yourself, why would you do that? If you take a look at our wind box, right now it says it's at 20.5%. If you look, we're pulling combustion air, fresh air, which should be at 20.9. We're also pulling some flue gas recirculation. Now the dampers are closed, so basically it should be at 20.9. But what we do is, um, let me get rid of that. What we do is that uh, if we're pulling in flue gas, and mixing it with the combustion air, that oxygen level goes down below 20.9 to maybe 20 or 19.5. And we can actually calculate how much blue gas is being recirculated into the actual burner itself by how much the oxygen level is depressed. <clears throat> so while we're doing the combustion test, we're actually going to be doing that calculation. Now I want to calibrate this thing now. And so it's actually behind us, so let's go over to here. This is an extreme paramagnetic oxygen analyzer, and you've covered those already, so you know what that basically is. But it brings in um, a sample from the wind box. So right now I've got it set on air, but I can my selector switch go to sample, which will pull it out of the wind box or just straight air coming in, or I can put nitrogen in there for calibration purposes. So we're going to put air in. We've got an extraction pump, which is going to pull this, and it makes a lot of noise. So. so right now it's pulling a sample a thousand cc's a minute, which is right on that black line if I adjust this little valve you'll see the ball go up and you can see the ball go down and I'm going to set it back to a thousand cubic centimeters a minute a liter a minute so we're pulling in straight air and right now it's telling me it's at 20.7% oxygen because we know that the air we breathe is at 20.9 so we want to do a calibration that calibration this machine is so intuitive we really don't need an instruction manual if you did there it is and you're going to read through it till your heart's content but the reality is it's very intuitive so i'm going to push a button here this by the way is the home button bring you back to the beginning push that button and i want to go into control but in control i want to look at either calibrating the zero or calibrating the span. Right now we're pulling in air, so we're going to calibrate the span. So we down the span. Enter. It says you want to cancel because maybe you accidentally came in here, or do you want to start the calibration? Our span gas is 20.9. Air, we're sucking in fresh air. And uh, right now it says it's at 20.7. So I'm going to go down to start, and I'm going to enter it. And now it's going to purge for 30 seconds. It's actually pulling purge sample through here, and once it's gone through the purge, it's then going to do 30 seconds worth of calibration, and then it's going to do another 30 seconds of post purge. So right now we're at 14 seconds, now uh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So it's counting down in its purge cycle. So in three more seconds, it will go to injecting span gas. For, it for 40 seconds. And so now it's going to be stabilizing on that sample that's coming in, and then it's going to calibrate itself to read 20.9. And it'll do that right near the end of the standing procedure. So we got another 21 seconds to go. Wait a 
down. So we're going to switch over to nitrogen, and what I do, you'll see that my whole ball went down because my valve is turned off. We go around the side, and here is my pure nitrogen bottle. I've got it pretty well preset, so I'm just opening up this manual valve. Back and you'll see my little ball is right behind the line. I've already got the pressure regulator preset, but I can adjust it up or down to get that just right. So now we're injecting nitrogen, and I'm just going to go back to the display, and you can see that it's down at 0.1% oxygen because I've got pure nitrogen going in. But I'm going to try and calibrate that point now, it's not a zero, but I'm going to calibrate it anyway just to say I did it. So now I'm doing a zero calibration. Oops. I'm into my zero calibration. I'm going to hit the button. Sometimes you've got to back out of all the hangers to clear it. So I'm going to go back, back, back. I'm on the home page. Now I'm going to go into calibration. Zero calibration. It's locking me out again. Before we do a combustion test on the boiler. That's good. 